Bromine and chlorine are sanitizers, and you use them in hot tubs to kill bacteria, uh, keep, uh, keep the water disease free and clean and safe to use. Uh, and a lot of people wonder what the difference is between bromine and chlorine, uh, as there are some fundamental differences between them. In swimming pools, uh, primarily chlorine is used. About 95% of swimming pool owners use chlorine in the water to keep the bacteria at bay, whereas hot tubs is pretty much the reciprocal of that, seeing about 95% of hot tub owners use, using bromine as opposed to the chlorine. Um, the, the primary reason for this, I would say, is that bromine is more user-friendly than chlorine is. Uh, if you are not very good with, with water chemistry and you're wondering what you should be using, definitely the choice would be bromine. Bromine is safer for you to use than chlorine. Chlorine does require that you have a better understanding of the water chemistry and just, just exactly what's happening with the water balance. Um, if you use chlorine and you're not good with your water, you could inadvertently believe that you have chlorine, but in fact not be protected at all and have bacteria growing unrestricted in the water. Um, so the, the fundamental difference is that bromine is more active in the pH range that hot tubs tend to be. Uh, swimming pools tend to have a lower pH. Uh, hot tubs tend to have a higher pH uh, due to the hot water and the chemicals used and the uh, bather load and turnover in the, the water. So because of that, with the, the pH often being upwards of 8 or even 8.2 in a hot tub, with the ideal range being about 7.4, the pH of the human eye more or less, um, with the, the pH in the range of 8 to 8.2, bromine is about 90% active in the water still. It's still very much active and alive, killing the bacteria and keeping the water safe. Whereas in that specific pH range, uh, chlorine would only have about perhaps 10% effectiveness in the water, uh, and this would leave a, a lot of potential. If you only had one part per million of chlorine in the water, you could in fact only have 0.1 part per million of free chlorine available in the water, which really wouldn't be safe to be in the water at that point, going by any kind of standardized calculations of, uh, of hot tub water chemistry. Uh, so I would say if you, if you want to use bromine, that would be a good idea for beginners. Once you have a good understanding of your hot tub balance and, and what free chlorine and bromine levels mean in the water, you could consider a switch over to using chlorine, which does have some advantages. Uh, if you were to have two hot tubs right next to each other, one chlorine and one bromine, and both were perfectly balanced, the chlorine tub would probably look better than the bromine tub. It would be clearer, it would be fresher and crisper looking in appearance. It's hard to describe, but you, you can see it when you look in the water. Some people describe brom brominated water as somewhat listless and dull looking, which uh, it can be even under optimal conditions. Uh, but the choice is yours, but to err on the safe side of caution, if you're not good with your water chemistry, stick with bromine. Otherwise, you can try chlorine. There are some advantages. You can run lower levels of chlorine than you can of bromine, about half as much, which could be an advantage if you're trying to reduce your chemical exposure.